So there's a pretty good story out right now, and I actually think that it's pretty informative, and it, it's exactly why that Netflix show had so many problems. And that's that the creator of The Witcher came out and said, yeah, the Netflix people never listened to me for any ideas of the show. Why wouldn't you listen to the creator? Hey, he wants to help out. He's got some ideas. He thinks you should do this. Maybe it's something that you should consider listening to, but they didn't listen to him at all because they don't care. They have a disdain for the fan base and the franchise, and they went into that show wanting to make changes, wanting to put the message in it, wanting to make it a feminist show. And what happened? It's become a disaster for that show. Henry Cavill quit. The ratings for that show are in the trash. Uh, the past, <laughs> that spinoff that came out, nobody watched it. The last season had disastrous ratings. That show's on its deathbed. Can't wait for the next two seasons to come out without Henry Cavill so we can laugh at the ratings for that because everyone's ditched this franchise on Netflix. And what a shame because this could have been something very special. I'll never understand it when you have great source material that you can just one-to-one -one adapt and people will watch it and you could have a bona fide hit and you don't use it. It always blows me away. Marvel's got the same problem. Look what they're doing with that shit. I mean, that's why Marvel's in the gutter, because they're completely throwing the source material into the garbage and saying, well, you know, I think instead of adapting these great stories and characters, what we should really be doing is focusing on the message. And how does that work out for you? Well, not very well. But here's what he had to say. The creator of Witcher got a new Witcher book, out, he's got a new Witcher book on the way. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't want to brutalize his name. Uh, Sapakowski is what I call him. I think that's how you say his last name, Sapakowski. So Sapakowski's got a new Witcher book on the way, which means he's out and about doing his interviews. That's that's what's going on there. Vienna, he was at Vienna Comic Con, where he chatted with Austrian gaming website Serial Killers about writing. Uh, writing video games, and the Witcher TV series, which he didn't do. But I like what they put here about writing don't do it video games. He doesn't play them. And the Netflix Witcher TV series, they didn't listen to him. Maybe they should have. Could you imagine how great that show would have been if they had put Henry Cavill front and center and they had maybe adopted the books properly? That would have been a great show. Instead, we got a feminist piece of shit. Uh, but here's the quote making the rounds. Maybe I gave them some ideas, Sapakowski said when asked if he ever gave Netflix feedback on the show. But they never listened to me. What I can only describe as a kind of cackle, Sapakowski repeated, they never listened before giving an impression of a Netflix exec uh, asking, who's this? They don't even know who he is. Who's this guy? That shows you how much they give a shit about the material. They don't care about it at all. Uh, and I wonder who that Netflix executive is. Who is that person? Because that person should be fired. Uh, they were irritated when they were wondering who Sabakowski is. Like who, who is that executive? Because they should probably be fired, in my opinion. You probably fire that person. So, I mean, that's what's going on around... Right now, and when I saw this, it's like, do I, be, do I believe this? Absolutely. I absolutely believe that he probably tried to give them feedback, and they didn't listen to it. And now look at the position they're in. Same thing happened with the Cowboy Bebop series, by the way. Remember that dog shit Cowboy Bebop live-action adaptation that happened? The creator gave notes for that show, too. They threw it in the trash. Threw it in the trash. How'd that show work out? I'll never understand why you wouldn't value the creator's input. Even if you're not planning, like, because there's a lot of stuff out there that's not a one-to-one -one adaptation that's still pretty good. Uh, but I, I've never heard of them ever disrespecting the creator of the stuff. 
If that person's willing to work with you and wants to help and wants to just give feedback, why wouldn't you listen to them? They're the ones that made it special. It just seems like a no-brainer to me. Look at One Piece. One Piece did that. Look how great that show is. The creator of the franchise had a heavy hand in it. Look how amazing it is and how much the fan base loves it. it it's, it's excelled that property. Like One Piece, I would argue, it's still, it didn't need the Netflix adaptation to be popular. But that Netflix adaptation, I guarantee you, made that more popular than it already was. Because it was selling One Piece volumes. The, the sales charts for that had the first omnibus on it after that show came out. To me, that's a win. Because now the source material is taking off. I, I guarantee you that's not happening with these books. Because you've probably got a lot of people that never even played a Witcher game or read a book. Probably watched that Netflix show and walked away. And you'll never get them back because to them, that Netflix show is what The Witcher is. And that's not a good representation of what this franchise is. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals. And I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.